Some tense moments along Creekside Road in Kelowna, adjacent to Mission Creek today, as a fire broke out in the park just across the creek. The fire department responded quickly and brought in air support from the BC Wildfire Service. Yeah, about 9.30 this morning we had reports of smoke just kind of off the creek here uh, off Springfield. Uh, so crews uh, responded uh, in a first alarm basis. Uh, on scene, the, the incident commander at the time found that there was smoke and flame on the hillside. Uh, quickly ramped it up to a second alarm. So currently we have about uh, six pieces of fire apparatus, uh, 27 firefighters uh, now. Uh, we have uh, con completely confined the fire uh, to the flanks, the head, the east and the west, and then the heel of the fire on the creek. Uh, we had BC Wildfire Service support us with aircraft. Uh, so we had a belly uh, ship here that was bucketing uh, to, to kind of knock down the intensity of the flames so the firefighters could aggressively attack the fire and contain it to, to the area that was uh, most, most effective. You could see the smoke for sure, yeah. So this starts happening, the helicopters are coming in and you were getting ready to evacuate. I was at work and I got a phone call from my mom that the firefighters were here and to be prepared. Uh, so I came home and loaded up uh, the car with all of our memories and photos and things like that. So you were all ready to go and mm -hmm. then, um, but it looks like uh, the crews got a real good jump on it. Yeah, so they, they said that the fire is mostly under control right now and uh, that they're just going to monitor for the rest of the afternoon. So people in, in all these houses along here, I guess have the comfort of the creek as a bit of a barrier, but they're, they were still awfully close. Was How close did it become, did it come to becoming a, an evacuation? Well. The buffer from the creek was really the, the defining factor here because the, the, the fuel type was climbing up the hillside uh, and it's a mixed fuel type. So a lot of deciduous uh, kind of trees in that area, which uh, allows us to, to get into the, to the seat of the fire a little more, more aggressively. Uh, obviously being aware of like snags and overheads was a concern and, and the steep terrain, uh, which was you know a key component to why we asked for the air support. Uh, but we were very closely monitoring the behavior of the fire. Uh, low, basically no wind today. So it allowed us to, to keep it on the flanks. Uh, if the fire did uh, show rapidly uh, growth, uh, we would have probably looked at considering an alert for the community.